Hey y'all, welcome to those of you that are new here. For those of you that are returning, welcome back. I hope all is well with everyone. Today I will be bringing you a what's in my bag on my Kate Spade Cameron Satchel. This is in a size medium in the Safiana leather and the color is light crepe. I've had this bag for a little over a year now, I believe. And this is my second time showing it here on YouTube. So here's the information on the bag for those of you that are interested. I did grab this bag up from TJ Maxx. I hope it's clear enough for you guys to see. All right, so without further ado, we'll get right into it. I'll give you a quick look around the outside of the bag. It does come with this little Kate Spade charm hanging on here. That is the sides of the bag. You do have that little pleat or cinching on the side. Okay, and that's the back of the bag. And the bottom does come with four feet. All right. You see you do have the top carry handles there. It also comes with a crossbody strap, which I have not even unwrapped because I never used it and probably won't use it with this bag. Okay, so we'll just start here on the outside. You do have an exterior pocket and inside of there, I just have my cell phone drop down inside. And that's all I have in that pocket. Give you an overview of how I have it packed. All right, so you do have a zipper here on the back wall. I don't have anything in there. So I'll just start pulling from the main compartment. The first thing I have is this little pouch here. Now I've had this pouch now for maybe going on two years. I did pick this up from the Dollar Tree. I think I shared it in one of my first videos here on YouTube. I did a large uh, Dollar Tree pouch haul. I did see it a couple of times here and there, but I haven't seen it recently. But I thought it was really cute and it goes along with the theme of the bag. I probably have figured it out already, but I'm using this as a pen pouch. This is intended to be used for sunglasses or shades, glasses. And I just have my ink pens inside of here. The first one is this cute little candy bar pen. I did pick this up from Timu in a pack of three. I have my donut pen from the Dollar Tree. And it has the little sprinkles on there. And I also have my Kate Spade pen that I hauled here recently. I did get these from TJ Maxx in a pack of five. Came in different colors. Okay, next I'm going to pull this. This is my Kate Spade wristlet. I got this from the outlet. And I got it for a pretty good price. I want to say I paid maybe like $29, no more than $39 for it. There's the back of it. You do have a zipper pocket there, which I don't I don't have anything inside of it at the time. And inside of the wristlet, I just have some Bath and Body Works coupons and few receipts been out in the stores. But you can also use this as a wallet if you needed to because you have one, two, three, four card slots there on the back. So I will be placing my store cards or rewards cards inside of there also. All right, the next thing I'm going to share with you, y'all already know my favorite ladies pouch or bathroom pouch. I show this often on my channel because I do reach for this often. And inside of here, I just have my bathroom necessities. I have some panty liners, flossers, my... uh expandable towelettes i have my soap sheets here on this end some perel wipes feminine wipes in between i have some antibacterial wipes and 
there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I do have a small perfume sample. That is the Versace Bright Crystal. Okay, the next thing I have is this little mesh pouch here. I did get this from Shein. I think it came in a two-pack. And in here, I'm just using this for um, my lippies and I guess you could say my catch-all pouch because I do have a container here with pain pills and allergy pills inside. I have this cute little lip balm that I did haul here not too long ago. And it's kind of hard to open. Okay. But there you have the donut with the sprinkles. I also have another lip balm. And I think I got this one from Five Below. And this one says, that's hot. And it is in the flavor Caramel Mocha. And that's how it's looking on the inside. And it does smell like caramel coffee. Next, I have my Fancy Fussy Lip Gloss. I also have my the lip gloss applicator or lip wand. I have my allergy eye drops. My cuticle balm. This is by Sally Hansen. It says cuticle rehab. This here, I did pick up two of these. I haven't seen them in Dollar Tree in a while, but this is by Beauty Intuition. And it is a lip balm that smells just like glazed donuts. And last, I have my makeup removing wipes. Okay, the next thing I have, I should have pulled these first. They were on top, but they have dropped down in the bag. I have my keys here on my Victoria's Secret wristlet. I have my Happy Birthday fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. I also have the hand cream. I have this little notebook that I picked up maybe about two years ago also. I got this from the Dollar General. And it just has just the plain pages on the inside. I have a pack of tissues. My hand sanitizer, and I'm still using the Danbury Shortbread, the Bridgerton from the Bridgerton collection at Bath and Body. And the last thing inside of the main compartment, I have my cute little Hello Kitty donut shaped AirPods case. I thought this was really cute. I do have my AirPods inside. And inside of the front slip pocket, I do have my card case. I don't have anything in it at the time. I did receive this in friend mail as a gift. And this is the Kate Spade card case with the donut there on the front. You have the little sprinkles. And you do have a total of six card slots, three on each side. I thought that was really cute, the lips and the donut on the back. And you also have an open space here at the top if you want to place more cards or cash inside of there. So, all right, I'm going to get everything set up and come back and give you a look at what all I'm carrying inside. All right, everyone, there's a quick look at everything I had packed inside. I hope you all enjoyed the video. 
If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one.